the tween tool found here on the keying section of the panel is a quick and simple tool for helping you to add or adjust tween or in between frames. Here we see I have a camera and it's just going from point A to point B there in a nice straight line. If we look at the graph we can see that I have TCB'd and smoothed out these things so I've got a little bit of slow out from the start and slow in to the end keyframe there. But if I want to weight this more to one side of the motion than the other, creating either a fast in or a fast out, then I need to add an in-between here somewhere. To use the tween tool, you just select the point in the timeline where you want the tween to occur. Let's say I'm going to put it dead center around frame 25 here. And then by clicking on the tween mini slider here, an in-between frame is created for us. And you'll see that as I drag the slider, it pushes the position of that keyframe in the graph. So when you slide up to 100, you get the exact same position as the next keyframe. When you slide down to zero, you get the position of the previous keyframe. So let's say I was wanting it around there, somewhere, something like that. And this has now created a fast out where I slow out of my move and then go much quicker into the arrival, giving us this kind of motion. Obviously, it has created the key as the spline type selected here, and of course has created it on the channels from the channel selection box, and of course has created it on the selected item as per the selections panel here. So we can just tease the curve on that a little bit, and there we go. We see that I've created my little tween frame. If I want to adjust it, I can just come back to that frame, and of course I can tween where it goes again like this. So if you have a frame already created for a tween, then the tween tool will simply adjust it. If you don't have a frame, then the tween tool will create one. You can notice, of course, that if the frame you are currently on is not between any other frames, then the tween tool has no effect. Similarly, if you're out past or before the frame range, so there's no later keys coming on, then the tween tool will just key it flat where you are. But once you do have in between keys or a key is between two others, then the tween tool just lets you adjust it quickly and simply like this. Do also remember, of course, that this is an interactive tool. And as such, when you have got larger item selections, it will operate a bit slower. One of the common places you might find this is if you're using it in conjunction with a rigged rig. As you can see here, I've only got the main route of this rig selected, but of course, because I am in rig selection mode, I effectively have the entire rig selected. And as such, when I use the tween tool, you can see that it's a little bit clunkier, a little bit slower to update itself, as of course, it spiders through all of the different items and tweens them appropriately. Irrespective of this, of course, you can see that when working on large item selections, it is still so, so, so much faster than having to go through and tween items individually or in graph or anywhere else. So there we have it. That is the tween tool, how it all works and how it allows you to quickly and easily nudge around in between keyframes for your items during animation.